everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today, I have behind me all three of the brand new John Renault's Gorgeous Grays collection. We're going to break down these colors. We're gonna try them on. I'm gonna show you the lace fronts up close and talk about all of these beautiful features coming up. These wig styles were sent to me by Wig Studio One so that I could review them for you today. And I thought it would be really neat to see them all together, even though I have three separate styles and three separate colors. They're all in that John Renault's gorgeous grays collection. You can find them at Wig Studio One if you drop below the video and expand the description box. I will attach a direct product link to each one of the featured wig styles, as well as the entire John Renault collection. So from the left-hand side, we're gonna start with Evan by John Renault, and this is in the color Moonlight uh, 92. And in the middle, we have Scarlet by John Renault, and this is in the color Peppercorn, which is 1B60. And then on the far right-hand side, we have John Renault's Kristen in the color Mist, which is 395160. So let's start breaking these down. But the big takeaway here is, and this is going to be a question on everyone's mind, and that is, are these grays rooted? And the answer is no, they are not rooted. So I hear the cheers going up now. These are very dynamic, very natural looking grays. They're not fashion grays. These are your everyday gorgeous grays. So let's break down this color Moonlight 92. So around the front, you're going to see the white and the silver that kind of gradually goes back into a salt and pepper, more of a, of a 1B60 mix in the back. Okay, so your darkest part is going to be at the nape. This is a very natural, realistic graying pattern for a lot of people out here and would be super realistic for everyday wear. So let's get up close on that lace front because I really believe that this color uh, was done so well, especially when you have a lace feature. So you can see that every other knot or so has been left out. In other words, it has not been threaded. This is a very nice, fine grid. It gradually gets more uh, dense as you move back. But look at that lace front, just gorgeous, isn't it? So they bring that lighter piece right up to that lace front. So in this ombre effect from light to dark, they really bring a lot of those lighter pieces up to the front. Super natural looking uh, transitions, absolutely beautifully. Now I feel like uh, on all of these colors in the Gorgeous Grays collection, the color is going to be displayed in a way that highlights the style. So if we had this ombre color on a longer style, let's say like Scarlet here, it would look a little different, but the basic premise of this ombre graduated color effect is gonna be the same. Now these colors, uh, this one in particular is really shocking to me because I don't wear black. Um, I don't wear black hair, I don't wear black clothes. And so it, this is really shocking, but for you out there that have that dark brown, even black hair naturally, this is really gonna be a winner for you. Okay, so Scarlet, the beautiful beach waves of Scarlet, right? I think it's gorgeous. And it doesn't look too bad, especially with a nice cool white. I put on a little extra eye makeup today too, so that it kind of, kind of helped blend. I really had to work on my eyebrows to darken those up a little bit, just so that we could highlight this hair and kind of give you uh, an idea of what it might look like on you if you enjoy these colors. And I always marvel at how different these styles look with the different colors. Like I'm used to wearing Scarlet in a 12 FS8 or a light blonde. It just looks so different now that it's in this very dark peppercorn. So that 1B blue black base color, very cool. And then you've got that uh, peppered highlight. It's actually salt but I've got salt peppered into this, this, this black base. And there's more of a concentration of that effect at the front. It's 
you can definitely tell. Now again, see, it's just so subtle and so natural looking that you're just starting to go gray and you're just letting it go, right? A lot of gals will start to see some of this and they'll immediately run to the drugstore and grab a box of Clairol. Um, but in this case, it's so gorgeous. You just want to show it off. So let's take a look at this lace front. Temple to temple lace front. And this is a great demonstration of that extra little bit of white that they've brought up to the lace front. And then you can actually really tell that it's very finely knotted. Every other knot or so has been left out of the knotting process. It looks so good and so natural. I just can't get over some of the features that they've done here. These weren't thrown together. Again, these are not fashion colors. These are everyday, striking, stunning, realistic, gorgeous grays. So here I am wearing Kristen uh, in the color Mist, which is 395160. You can see just a hint of that pastel brownish shade there. It just gives it a touch of warmth. It's not a warm color at all. And then you're gonna see some white and some pearl. And that pearl is really centered around the face and then finally dispersed throughout. So just a gorgeous color, not rooted. Very dynamic though, very believable. Let's get up close. So this is again, a temple to temple lace front, beautifully knotted through there, nice fine knots. Every other knot or so uh, has been threaded. So it's a nice light density there, very natural and believable. And I just feel, I just feel so rich and healthy in this wig style. Um, it's classic, it's flirty, it's really light textured. I love how it frames the face, Kristen.